today I will be showing you guys how I make my vinyl labels and also how to put them on when you buy them and just how it works so if you follow me on my business Instagram at Diddy Galore you would see that I posted a picture on Sunday saying that we know offer vinyl labels a lot of persons were DMing me asking me how it works and a lot of questions about it i also got a comment on what under the post asking me if i could make a youtube video on how i make it or something like that i'll put the comment here so before i get into that i just wanted to say thank you for all my new subscribers thank you for subscribing i hope you guys are here joining us on this video um please like comment and share with a friend who would also subscribe i also wanted to say to my return subscribers welcome back to another video and thank you for the continuous support so with all that said let's get into the video vinyls are priced based on the size and the design we only print or only cut words and shapes so if you are interested you can go at diddy galore and order some labels we also do the um what's that called car decals and wall decals the decals are basically stickers you know the car stickers for sales and, and all of that and the wall decor so before i get started i will be showing you guys some materials that i will be using in today's video so i will be using a cutting mat this is for the machine i'll be using a ruler to take my measurements vinyl paper i will be using pink and white this is the paper for the label i'll be using a scissors a weeding tool this is to weed off the excess paper of the design i'll be using a pencil I'll be using a desktop and a cutting machine to design and cut the labels. I will also be using this tool like a card to scrape off the label onto the transfer paper you will see further down in the video. Before I get into making the labels, I want to demonstrate how to take the measurements for the labels. So if you are supposed to place an order with me, this is how I expect you to take the measurements for the labels. First thing, you're going to get your packaging, container, or whatever you want to put your label on. You're going to get your ruler, and you are going to put it at the inches side. All labels should be in inches. Then you're going to put it against the packaging or the container that you want the label for, and you're going to take your measurements. So you're going to take the measurement for the width and length and just write it down. So that's what I'm doing here, writing it. So that's how I would expect you to take your measurements and send it to me. However, my customer sent me her measurements and everything she wanted. When placing an order with me, I would expect you to send me your measurements, your, your label color, and also the font design you want. So here I am in the design space for the machine. I am not going to get in depth into that because it will be long. However, here is the toolbar. Left side, I am going to click on text to apply the word she wants. So she wants clean kitty closet and I am just typing in that right now. Now I am just going to change the font to the font that she wanted. So I'm just typing in that font. Here you can see I am going to adjust the sign and duplicate she wanted three labels so i am duplicating that for three deleting the extra one so now i'm getting ready to cut the labels so i'm taking off the protective plastic of the cutting mat putting on the vinyl paper onto the mat nice and smooth 
now we are back at the design space and i'm just adjusting a couple settings i am choosing the correct paper and adjusting the speed and so i'm done with adjusting the settings and we are just gonna click send and start cutting the vinyl labels right now The labels are now finished and I am just going to take off the vinyl paper and put on back the plastic covering and I'm just going to cut that now. So the finishing touch, I am just weaving off the paper. So if you can see, there are some excess paper left and I am just going to take out those little details. So this part of the video is for my future customers who want to know how to put on their labels. So my customer who I was making the labels for will use her, will put on her own labels. So I am just getting my labels for demonstration purposes. So this is my label for my lip gloss base pouch and I will be putting it on in today's video. So here I have my transfer paper. The transfer paper is what you will be using to transfer the label onto your container so I am just putting it on my label here and I will be using the card thing to scrape it onto the transfer paper it's nothing hard you're just gonna scrape until you see it come off I'll be showing it here so you're just gonna scrape don't have to do it hard but if it's not coming off you would have to so see you can see it's coming off you're just gonna scrape it a little bit more and just like that easy nothing hard you just scrape it with a card or whatever you have similar to a card and then you're going to just place it onto your container just like that just like stick on peel labels only thing it goes on different so you're going to use the card and scrape it or you can use your fingers and then you're going to leave it up here so if you can see my Y is not coming off obviously I know how to put it on but for demonstration purposes I am just showing you all the mistakes that can happen so if it's not coming off, that's not, not a problem. All you have to do is scrape it a little bit harder. And there you go, it's on. You're going to take that same piece of transfer paper and take the second piece of your label. If your label is one piece, fine, no problem. But my label is a different piece, so I'll use the same transfer paper because it can be used more than once. So here I am just going to repeat the steps over. So put on the transfer paper and scrape. Once again, if it's not coming off, no problem. There's nothing wrong with the label. All you have to do is go and scrape harder. If you're scraping and it's still not coming off, all you have to do is flip it on the back and scrape again. And it will definitely come off onto the transfer paper. And it come off easy as that 
then now I am going to put it on to my container once again I'm just going to align it however I want it to put however I want to put on it it does you don't have to put it on a certain way it's just how you want to put it on you can use your finger and rub it on or use the card and scrape it on just like that you have a nice perfect label this is the end of the video if you made it this far thank you so so much for watching this video was mainly for my customers who wanted to know how to put on the labels but if you sticked around and you weren't and you aren't a customer thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate the love and support um when purchasing from me you can get you have two options you can make me put on the labels for you or you can put them on yourself if you choose to put them on yourself all you have to do is follow the simple steps in this video it's not hard it's really really simple just follow the steps and i promise you will have beautiful labels at the end of the day with all that said go follow me on all socials um on instagram snapchat everything my personal instagram is duana with six a's and my snapchat is baby underscore Dawkins. my business instagram is diddy galore that is d-i-d-d-y-g-a-l-o-r-e the only diddy galore on instagram so you will find me easy thank you for watching um please like comment and subscribe thank you for the support Bye.